As you can see, the main benefit of a compact system camera is that because they've taken out the mirror and prism assembly that you get in a digital SLR, the camera can be much smaller. This camera has the same size sensor in it as this camera. As you can see, that's quite a saving in size and weight. But of course, you don't have a viewfinder and you have to rely instead on the LCD screen to compose your pictures. Now, there are a few compact system cameras that don't have a built-in viewfinder, but you can attach one as an accessory, like the Panasonic GX1 here. And there's a port on the back where you can just clip on an electronic viewfinder if you should need one. If you want one built in, then there are some ca several cameras that offer that as well, such as, for example, the, uh, the Nikon 1 V2 here and this Samsung camera here. This is like an SLR style camera. It looks and feels like an SLR, but again, it's a bit smaller than SLR if you can put the two together. This camera has a smaller sensor than the, the, uh, the Samsung and is, is kind of more like a compact camera sensor. It's still bigger than a compact sensor, but it's about half the size of the sensors in a DSLR. But it enables you to produce smaller lenses and have a slightly smaller camera. So these are the main types of camera. So which one you choose will depend, again, on whether you want it to be a hobby or whether you want a recording device. It'll depend on how much you want to spend. And it'll depend on what the most important features are of the camera. Do you, for example, want a long zoom lens? Do you want a viewfinder? Is the size of the sensor important to you? In other words, is image quality important to you? Uh, even the small sensors are good enough to produce small prints of looking at on, on like Facebook, for example. But if you want to make high quality images, then a larger sensor might be a benefit. Do you want connectivity, for example, cameras like this, which have built-in Wi-Fi, enabling you to upload your pictures directly from the camera to your social media? So once you've decided how much you want to spend and which features are the most important to you, then you'll be well on your way to narrowing down that huge field of cameras to just a few that you should look at in closer detail to decide which one to buy.